first and foremost, shout out to one of my subscribers, Black Film Guild, for pointing this out to me, sending me this link that iHeartRadio has filed for bankruptcy. You know, I was just wondering the last couple days after watching The Breakfast Club interviews, you know, specifically the Michael Blackson interview, and now today, DJ Envy walking off um, his own interview and introducing his guest as Dick and Pussy. I was like, man, this is way off. What's what's really going on? They're changing their whole format. Uh, what Something's going on. And I'm like, this is taking a turn for the worse. Something's happening. But now we know why this is happening. <laughs> iHeartRadio, which is the owner of The Breakfast Club, uh, has filed for bankruptcy. And, uh, you know, this is the start of the ending for The Breakfast Club right here. They filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And it says, according to this article from Forbes.com, which is a reliable source, it says the company has been suffering due to more than 20 billion, okay, in debt. Not million, 20 billion in debt. That load, which has been crippling the entertainment giant for a decade, is a result of a 2008 leveraged buyout that also saw the company rebrand into a conglomerate the world knows now. Okay, so 20 billion in debt. All right. Um, the article also states that iHeartRadio owns 850 radio stations across the U.S., including many of the most popular outlets in top tier markets. In addition to ruling traditional radio, the company has also also runs one of the biggest popular streaming music platforms in the world, which focuses primarily on radio functions, but also competes with the likes of Apple Music and Spotify with an on demand offering. OK. Um, <laughs> this is, th again, I didn't know about this. Shout out to my subscriber for sending me, sending me this information, but $20 billion in debt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is a whole lot of money. It's not 20 million. It's 20 billion with the B. And like I said, this is definitely the start of the ending of the breakfast club, as well as the 850 radio stations that iHeartRadio owns. Um, you know, I know my wife, she listens to iHeartRadio quite a bit. So all of these terrestrial radio listeners, um, they're not going to be able to listen to the breakfast club and the like in their local radio stations, you know, terrestrial format. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be ending very soon unless they change something. Um, according to this article, they said that the chapter 11, um, doesn't necessarily mean a drastic change right away. All right. So there could be some things in the background, um, that could happen for, for the most part, they're going to have to do a lot of downsizing with this company and they're going to have to do some, obviously some changes, right. To affect the, the bottom dollar of iHeartRadio radio, um, as a whole. Right. So yeah, family, you know, <laughs> That's what it is. I, I was kind of like wondering, like, man, what's what's going on with, with Charlemagne and the breakfast? They're doing all these erratic interviews and acting crazy. So now I know why they filed for chapter 11 bankruptcy. Twenty billion dollars in debt. I mean, that's why they're acting so crazy. <laughs> you know, um, obviously, obviously, they're not going to talk about their parent company uh, being in debt. Twenty billion dollars. OK, <laughs> they're not going to talk about that on their show. That's of course, that's, you know, they're signing their checks. You know, but uh, yeah, family, those are my thoughts on that. Uh, leave your comments down below um, about that. I was doing some research on who owns Hot 97. Turns out because, you know, Ebro was talking crap about DJ Envy. And I'm like, is he a part of the same? Uh, you know, is he owned by the same company? But now he's owned his radio station is owned by a company called MS Communications, who um, is owned by this guy here, Jeffrey's. Smullen, who is classified as white, but is Jewish, <laughs> you know, for all you guys out there who are talking about oh, Illuminati and all this other stuff, man, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um, it's all white supremacy at the end of the day. That's what I'm basically saying. So, 
But anyway, those are my thoughts on that family. Leave your comments down below about iHeartRadio and uh, do you guys actually listen to it? Everything. Listen, when I watch The Breakfast Club, and also, I mean, before I end the video, that's the importance of black ownership, um, owning our own infrastructure in all nine areas of activity economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics, religion, sex, and more. I've been talking about that since day one. Black ownership, what we need to get back down to. Right. Owning our own media. That's very, very important. OK, so stuff like this happening, 20 billion dollars in, in debt. Um, you know, that's a white owned company that DJ Envy, Angela Yee and Charlemagne the God work for. That's who signs their checks, you know, at the end of the day. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, leave your thoughts down below about this, about this. Uh bankruptcy family uh let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit that bell notification icon for all my latest and greatest content if you've been rocking me if you've been rocking with me for a while thank you for continuing the support all right family until next time chauncey aka the black separatist signing out